recording this because I forgot to turn the music down. I don't have to re-record re chapter 2 as well, but I'm redoing this one first because this is current upload stuff. Well, once I get this first video out of the way, then it'll be new. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, everybody. I'm very happy to be here. I'm your charming host, Mr. Babble, and we are continuing Sam and Max. February is a month for replaying the stuff I did early on when I didn't know what I was doing with making videos. And so let's hope, let's hope even if I'm not much better at actually gaming, I'm a little better at, you know, not blasting people's ears with volume issues. So anyway, well, I did the opposite this time. This time I was too quiet. I was too quiet. But anyway, I have rectified the problem. And here we are. There we are then. Let us be off. At least I hope I fixed it. The mole, the mob, and the meatball. Alright. Yes. Okay, do I need to click? Yes, I need to click. Hiya, Sam! Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! <clears throat> I got it! I got it! No, you don't. Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city. The Troy Mafia. Dun, dun, the cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The shallowest place on Earth? On Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's there's not no going mafia to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never, then smack me, then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Let's do this! Yes, no one would ever, no one would ever react that way just to having someone question their Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste. Turn it off! I hate the I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. Hold on, I need to make sure the volume set okay, yes. The volume settings are as I put them earlier. Very disturbed individual sits here. Not at the moment, he's walking around right now. Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve and never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except mm -hmm. that. The only thing I need is the ace of spades. The ace of spades. That hair is still there. Along with the this chart pile of scraps serves there. as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy fry frying things. Oh, you crack me up, little buddy. Jimmy Two Teeth, fence. It's a sad day when hard-working rodents, hard rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's Spence in the buys and sells, buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customer! What customers? I was gonna ask the same question, but Max beat me to a it. Very disturbing. Yes, thank you. I didn't actually mean to click that again. I was just trying to walk. I'm watching you, Spatula. Always watching. Mr. Spatula, the exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. Always had. 
certainly not just some not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original found the original floating belly up in this very open this very water cooler just last week. Careful, Sam. Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. That's just what Spatula wants you to think. I'm on to him. I'm on to you, Spatula. Alright. It's apparently going slow and choppy again, and I don't know why. I will see if I can't remedy things. Let us check out hospitals. The alien love rectangle post. I had no idea there was idea there was such fierce competition among alien love polygon tabloids. Yeah, people just hop on the bandwagon. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. Hmm, are those? Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. Not if you take some. Go knowing Bosco, they're probably expired. And ordered from Guatemala, off the internet. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of Cordon Bleu! Who is this, uh, Bosco? <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Bosco! No, oh. real? Oh. But you may call me Jean-Francois Sissipant, the cowardly French anarchist. What's with the Jedi? So Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Oh, Name tag. The Mafia! The Toy Mafia! They've got an in for me! Take a number, guys. Well then. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. But I know what they are planning. And it is terrible. Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my star. Alright. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. But it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my star. Or my name is not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. They don't know that. Tell it, oh fools. <laughs> Nothing's gonna top that. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, Did you get just like tests? Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I gotta fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tab. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tab. It is b -tab's party! Interesting. How does b -tab's part do work? First, is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical! If anything gets placed in the store that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the street! Vive la France! Out on the street, too sweet. We want to buy, some. buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. You got any grapes? Let's see what he's got this week. What do you got? Ooh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device non pareil on chocolate. Is that what? good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. All right. How much? Okay, senor. Sissy Pants, we'll take that miniature listening device. The price is ten million dollars. 
Chugga jigga wugga. Ten million? Wait, is that ten million in crazy fake French dollars or ten million in regular dollars? Regular dollars. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollars. Okay. Do you have Getting any grapes? Great tufts of sas tufts of Sasquatch hair? Ah, uh, nope. First game. Well, original game. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow letter? Nope. I don't know if that's from anything. I know this is. Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? Nope. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Nope. You don't need one. You got the thing in your hat. Do you have any? No. Nope. How do you know what he was gonna? No. Nope. <laughs> do you? No. Nope. He's got me pegged. No. Nope. Beating me to it. Do you? No. Nope. Taking all the fun out of it. Do you? No. Nope. Do you have any straight tufts of Ah, right? it's rebooting itself. Nope. That's not cool. Nothing for us right Nobody now. Nobody asked you to do that game. Does the carpet match the drapes? No! And you know why? Because the man doesn't want them to. He's threatened by their potential unification. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no way he's the guy. All see right, later, see Bosco. you, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak. But if I see him, I shall bid him a reservoir. Our reservoir. You are terrible. Anti delivery camera. The anti delivery camera. Camera versus Godzilla. Uh, Sludgies. Sludgies. This week's flavors avocado de menthe and fudge pate de foie gras. Oh, good. For a mm. second, I thought it was something disgusting. It was something disgusting, you fool. Alright. I don't believe there's anything else I can do here at the moment. So I should take my leave of the Bosco of the Boscatorium. Of the inconvenience store. Let us head off. Off into the distance. Off into the bold new horizon. Yeah, whatever. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. Where are we going, Sam? I don't think there's anything I need from you know what let's go to no place Civil War never over mind here. might as well never hurts to help witnessing so she's witnessing now witness and testify testify sister tiki freaky tiki ah the tiki Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Clack, 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 clack. Can I play with that? No, it drives people crazy. Who? Me. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, How you doing? our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. Not a thing. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great. We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? Well, at least we get hired. You just apparently are leeching off. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to hell, Sybil. 
You totally, you, you are totally going to hell. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. Uh-huh. What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. You actually like doing jury duty? We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, kind boys. Of a weirdo freak. Keep one eye on the truth. All right. Jury duty is... I would never be a professional jury guy. Professional Whee! witness or otherwise. Or anything like that. Courts are stressful. Where are we going, Sam? Somehow stressful and boring at the same time. Teddy Bears, Mafia Free, Playland, and Casino. Goody! I prefer not to court disaster. Sorry. Zero pun shame. Don't judge me. Welcome to Teddy Bears, Mafia Free, Playland, and Casino. That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take okay. this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. You got it. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah, you're being really careless, guys. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I don't think I get much from Max. I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the cop Does the match, the the match the drapes? If Don Teddy Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anywheres. Come on, true. You are bad at this. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it. So's you know not to ask. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Thanks, Lovey Bear. See you later, Enjoy. alligator. And remember, if you're not losing, if... we're not winning. Yeah, well, I don't give two hoots if you're winning. I only care if I win. Rubber ducky. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy, please like, comment, or subscribe. I know I'm having fun. Or not. I'm not the boss of you, and that was creepy. Let's do it again. That was both awesome and disturbing.
Okay, that's probably enough for that. Alright, this time I mean it, I'm done. I'll be back next time. Thank you.